I resigned unsolicited. They were stunned. And I had received the award that February. I left that April. Now you talk about a guy who walks the walk. (laughs) That was me. Experience your purpose driven plus. I talk about that in another interview where. Shaw, let me tell you, it was at the point where, as I said to myself, here is, I know my strengths. I'm a very confident person. Yeah. I'm not afraid of adversity. In fact, I embrace it because that really builds character. Yeah. I always tell people, I don't want you to see me on my best day. I want you to see Mark Bertrand on his worst day. Right. Because that's when you really see what I represent, what I can truly offer you at optimal and a high standard level. And that was my mindset. And I remember my employer tried to talk me out of not leaving, but it like, you so shouldn't go. want to do this. Oh, no, no because it, it was such, the relationship was solid because I had, did, I had three years before that I had earned my, my doctorate and they were positioning me for much more growth, C-suite, you name it. Right. I turned around portfolio schools, had a $60 million um, operational budget. And I mean, had been recognized by the state commissioner. We were branching out to public-private partnerships. But I also had a very innovative mind. I didn't want to have to deal with any of the possible red tape that could come along with what I was trying to accomplish. Shaw, I have to tell you, at first, most people were saying to me, Mark, you are out of your mind. And let me tell you, it was a cushy position. <laughs> and to be a person of color, most yeah. of us aren't doing it. No, They're not, not doing what Shark did. They're not doing what Mark did. No. But I did. And had I not done that, I wouldn't have been able to establish and create what I've now created within my own brand. And when I tell you the pride, the joy and love, you know when you're doing something right, when every diff, when most sectors, people are reaching out to you because they want to be a part of your ecosystem. Yeah. And most of them, most of them, to be transparent, do not look like me. They right. do not look like me, but they wow. entrust me. They've monitored my body of work over time, time to make the determination, okay, can we broach this individual? And wow. I will never forget to give you an example a high profile, prominent powerhouse financial institution, global firm, reached out to me. They were on their uh and their headquarters on Park Avenue, 200 Park Avenue. I walked into that room, and first of all, from, from the onset, their presentation, first class professional, I wasn't surprised by that. They knew who I was. Obviously, they had they had already done their homework and so forth. But when I walked in, given the fact that we're in a climate of DEI, diversity, equity, and yeah. inclusion. That was so lacking in there. So when you walk into a room, when it's all about, and you know this, the bottom line, yep. as well as show me the results, because this is what we're about. You already have to know that yep. without trying to ask them, why am I here? Right. So of course, now you walk into this room, this long rectangular table, all the suits, CEO, COO, so forth. You know, they just had their Q3 earnings call. They beat record profits and so forth. You've got to be on it quickly to yeah. understand your audience, understand yeah. the content, be able to speak it to them at their level to their get level. that engine in that car running fast, or you can lose all credibility. You can lose all credibility. Wow. Fortunately for me, because of my background, and this is where I tell people that I've coached and that part of my component of work, I said, you have to have a sense of awareness of mm-hmm. a little bit of everything. You don't have to be a guru. You yes. do not have to be a guru. Yes. But have some sense of awareness yes. of what's going on, whether it's in healthcare, whether it's in manufacturing, agriculture, politics, whatever the case may be. Because sure, you know, the clients you're going to come across, they may be diverse, they may be leaning in one particular industry, and you have to be able to speak to that, but demonstrate to them, well, this is why you want to retain my services and not go anyplace else. Needless to say, I had them laugh within the first couple of minutes because the first thing I referenced was, okay, 
I'm not going to get on my phone and call the affirmative action EOE <laughs> office right now because I see something is missing. So they all started laughing, you know, but I had to quickly do that to bring down the temperature. So right. I let them know it's okay. It's okay. You got this.